fashionably late people coming in. So uh, until they come, we'll just start off. So having factored people coming in late, we've just pushed the formal function a little. So let's start off. See, we need some uh, talent proving happening here. School There'll be a lot of questions here. Especially the teachers would want to know how much you've achieved in life, right? So we're starting with a simple challenge. Who's up for it? We want a simple challenge here. So I want three people from the student side and three people from the teacher side. Come on, come on. Anyone? It's, it's a very easy one. Okay, teachers, yes, we've started off. Saroja miss, come on. All right. It's a challenge, come on. The challenge is an achievable challenge. Like in every school, come on. So, hey. See, the teachers, the teachers gang is already stepping up. Mahesh. Okay, we have Mahesh. One more. Two more, yes. Subhash, good. Subhash and Kishore. All right, so we have Subhash, Kishore, Subhash, Kishore and um, Mahesh, right? All right, so that's three of you. All right, so we need one more person from the teacher's team. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sukumari miss. Sunita miss. Okay. So the first round. Yeah, yeah. So first round we have them. So they need no introduction. Do they need introduction? No, they don't. Okay. So please. Which batch do you Mahesh Kamath, 1995 12th. Subhash Balan, 2001-12. Kishore Balan, uh, 97 Okay, so at some point of time in your school career, school, campus, you would have heard, what is your aim in life? So let's test our aim. These teachers are going to aim test. Teachers are going to aim prove. That's right. Okay, so that's now a face off. Let's see if they still have it in them and whether you guys can beat it. Chalk them, target them. You need to throw it. Oh, young chalk industry is not going to Chalk it, you can't get it. Chalk it, you can It is, it is a, it is a basic uh, gift that each teacher should have. Right? Let's try that. Arana, do we have a volunteer? Ninnaran? Do we have a volunteer? Ninnaran? Hey, come on. 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 Come Are you coming? Huh? One person. Come. One person. Either of the three. Huh? Black actually. It's a white chalk. Okay, Mahesh is volunteering. To be the target practice? Everybody has 
Okay. Can I have your attention? Yes. I have some really small questions about our school. Obviously the one puts up their hand and gives the right answer will be getting a gift. The first question. The first question preferably the answer should come from the alumni students not the teachers. Name name the name the max teacher. Name the max teacher who later turned out to be a great dancer. Yes, Mini Banerjee. Yeah, that's that's the right answer. Do you got your gift? Can we have an applause, please? Okay. Who's up for the next question? Who's up for the next question? Anybody volunteering to take the next question? Yeah, the question is very easy. What is our motto? Let noble thoughts come to us from every side. No, that was not the question. Can you say this in Sanskrit? Anu Badra Kratwo Yentu Vishwata. Anu Badra Kratwo Yentu Vishwata. There's more gifts, huh? So, next one. Okay. Now, those generation from us, from my time, that is, I passed out in 2000, you remember we had these beautiful girls coming in from the UK, boys as well. Who can tell me the name of the school with which we had this? Oh, so many hands going up. The first hand, the lady here. Tunbridge Wells Girls Grammar School and Boys Grammar School is right. Okay. What was that program called? Peace is correct. Peace. Now, who can expand peace? P-E-A-C-E. -E. Anybody who can come up with the expansion of the program, peace? Again, that girl. Uh, Bavia, 2010, graduate uh, program for exchange in, no. Something and cultural exchange. I don't know what the E is. Education and cultural exchange. <laughs> 
program for education called that's excellent bavriya bavya oh bavya balakrishnan of 2010 okay now the first person the first person who runs and comes here and answers my question will get the gift the first person to come here and then answer i need the names of all the eight houses all the eight houses you have to come here you have to come here and name all the eight houses ba 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 ivade 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 ahimsa dharmam gnanam satyam sevanam shanti tyagam vinayam and and for the other alumni ganga yamuna krishna kaveri periyar tungabhadra mahanathi narmada okay okay identify your oh, malavika vipin 2020 malavika and bavya thanks for that it doesn't stop there who can remember who can remember the color of narmada house pash brown is right subhash which house which house had the color green which which house had the color yellow kaveri is right da avada avada can anybody volunteer to be singers who are the singers here paattu paadan ariyavana or aara alle ariyatha or aanalum koyappilla ip attempt cheyam da aa kutti vilichollu va ya yal kon sir can you identify yours i am uh, ramesh prabhu uh, Uh, class of 89 10th standard uh, and i run a steel distribution firm in kochi thank you any thoughts you have from school singing in school i never sang in school so well, i used to play uh, drums uh, with the percussionist so i have very vibrant memories of those yeah during the assembly uh, it would uh, you know give me some time uh, to sit in that room behind there uh, with some of my uh, classmates there and be ready for the assembly at that time so uh, from 86 to 89 yeah thank you that's great words aa aasthana drummer nu namaku annatha aasthana paattaya nammada school paattinte oru vari paadan request cheyunu സിംഗർ <laughs> I am Parvati Karun and I uh, passed out in 2018 12 and you all know my mother she is Shanti Ramachandran computer department teacher uh, Jai Jai Vidya Bhavan Bharati Jai Jai Vidya Bhavan Hamara Gyan Karm ki Jyoti Jagata Amritamaya Vidya Sarasata Yahan Jagat Kalyan Sudha ki Prahe Prem Rasaka Sorry for കൈയടി പോരാ ഭവൻ ഗിരിനഗറിന്റെ കൈയടി ഒരു കൈയടി തന്നെ ആയിരുന്നു ഒരു കാലത്ത് അല്ലേ അടിച്ചോളൂ ഓക്കെ ഫോർ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വി ഹാവ് ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ സ്കൂൾ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻസ് റൈറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യ സ്കൂൾ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻസ് സോ ഐ ജസ്റ്റ് നെയിം എ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ യു ഹാവ് ടു നെയിം ദ സ്കൂൾ വിച്ച് കണ്ടക്ട്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഓ
the name of the competition which school used to conduct it still conducts it okay okay so gopika has asked me to name the school and then the competition so i want someone who can name the inter school competition conducted by rajagiri sir but yeah no not yeah yes i heard the name here vistas uh, i am poojita men in i uh, graduated in 2018 I I participated in a lot of dance events from our school and I think they were also part of the team we did like a play dance and all for Vista so it's like no <laughs> Thank you so that was Vista by Rajagiri Now the next uh, I want you to name the competition that was conducted by chinmaya chinmaya yes subhash subhash avadana kai boki another chocolate is subhash thank you the last one from the competition which school used to conduct the famous competition called wo populai or vox populai vidyodaya is right I, from them let's welcome venugopal sir to our midst welcome sir to this alumni meet Okay now there is this question that my wife who's also an alumnus from the school asked me to ask there was this sir there was this PT sir who used to tell dracula stories when he came for substitution yes joy chako sir is having the right answer three cheers for joy chako sir please i'm namita from 2004 12. Can you narrate at least a brief Dracula story that you remember with Joy Chaka sir used to say? Bhavya you want to attempt a brief Dracula story that you remember? Uh, he didn't tell me he didn't narrate any Dracula stories but he told me the story of Count of Monte Cristo but that was a long time ago. <laughs> Now Okay which was this day which was this day at school when payasam was distributed free for all of us the only day No not onam not onam during my times before 2000 Children's day is the right answer children's day Hi everyone I am Bensley from 2002 12 batch Who was this teacher who wanted to answer trivia? Ramani Miss na irni le. So did then uttaram parayna na vaiyengar agra. I want Ramani Miss to tell us who all were the vice principals of this school. Uh, vice principals of 
ഫോർ ഫസ്റ്റ് മീന വിശ്വനാഥ് മിസ് ദൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ജോയ്സ് ടീച്ചർ പിന്നെ ശാന്ത ഇ പി പിന്നെ ഉമാ ഉമാ മിസ് ഫുൾ നെയിം ഉമാദേവി ഇപ്പോൾ സിന്ധു സിന്ധു ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫോർ ദി സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഐ കാൺ അലൗ ദ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ടു who was this teacher who was fondly called by the other teachers but we also came to know her nickname it was lali sukumari ms mahesh kamath uh, 95 12 yes sukumari ms was called lali same chocolate goes there also please identify yourself ma'am danya uh, 97 pass out from 12 thank you actually a question enikku ippa thoniyadha to okay the next again teachers can answer i'm sorry the students have to tell me who is the max teacher who is now turned out to be a author neeta uh, from 91 10th batch ushamis can we have the mac uh, the batch which has the maximum participation do you think your batch is has the maximum participation let's see show of hands which is that batch that looks like a big batch which is your batch sorry which was that 2018 hey come on 2018 batch do we have another batch who's coming up next which was that 98 okay 93 how many of you from 93 show of hands seven of you from 93 98 can i have a show of hands hey, you can't have two hands up idu pavans giri nagar thanne 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 oh it's the same that's a tie you have sri lakshmi also okay that's an eight sorry 98 you don't get into the game and what about you 2008 let's see a show of hands one hand each okay come on etra vera undo 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> you have three more coming is it so they're clearly the winners avaru vannittilla oh that's also a bonus in spirit huh? all right so i need four people four people come on just come over please i need four teams being made three from students one from the teachers vega maru quick 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 i want to capture your memories the 98 batch hey 98 batch ba come no no it's just a small art project vega madam i want to capture your memories on paper we need to finish this fast it's a time bound thing
നമ്മൾ പണ്ട് മാഗ്നമോപ്പസിനൊക്കെ പോയിട്ട് കളിച്ചിരുന്നല്ലേ വരൂ വേഗം വരൂ പ്ലീസ് നാല് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് Can we have a 98 batch? Can we have four people from the 98 batch? 98 batch, four people from the 98 batch please. How many of you are here? 90 to 2000 le 12th the pass aaye. Are you come? One of you come. 2000 to 2010. 2000 to 2010. Come come. 2010 to 2020 or 22. One of you come. Come come come. Red the red uh, kurta come. ഒരു മിനി മിസ് നല്ലൊരു കൈയടുത്ത് കൈയെടുത്ത് മിനി മിസ് എത്രമാത്രം നന്നായിട്ട് ഡ്രോയിങ് പഠിപ്പിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെന്ന് ഇപ്പൊ മനസ്സിലാവും ആ ഇനി മൂന്ന് ടീച്ചേഴ്സും കൂടെ വന്നേ വരാത്ത ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഒന്ന് വന്നേ സുനന്ദ മിസ് വരും മോളി മിസ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ബയോളജി കോക്രോച്ച് വരച്ച് പഠിപ്പിച്ചതല്ലേ വരൂ വി വെൽക്കം രാമൻകുട്ടി സർ to a gathering thank you sir yes moli miss come one more one more uh, shanta miss varu 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 we also want you to have fun ശാന്തമിസ് വരൂ അപ്പൊ ഓരോ ബെഞ്ചിലും ഓരോരുത്തര് ഒരു വൺ ടീച്ചർ വൺ സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഒന്ന് വന്ന് നിൽക്കോ വൺ ടീച്ചർ വൺ സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് അങ്ങനെ വൺ ടീച്ചർ വൺ സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് ഒരു ഒരു വൺ ടീച്ചർ വൺ സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് നിങ്ങൾ അവിടെ അവിടെ ആയോ ആൾക്കാരായോ Okay. okay, let's do one thing. Let the teachers come to one table, students distribute. The object is clear. You have five minutes. We have provided you with some material, pens and pencils. Just create a memory that you have about school. Whatever that comes to your mind, it can be to your... you can create a memory that you want to with the provided material no you are all collaborating this yeah, yeah. clear okay you can join hands you can start
I'm sure the others are missing out on the fun. So please join any of the tables. I tell you, this is your moment. Please come. Come, 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 come. Join any of the tables. Very, very, very. Young women are pretty very, very can do it. Very, very, very. Go, go, go. Come, come, come. Get up, get up from your seat. Any cue, any cue. Come, come, come. You are not old enough right now. Come, come. Adhuar Pulya. What is happening? Okay, come, come, guys. Doodle something. All of you have to doodle something and go. Oh, I tell you, the teachers are doing a great job. Listen. All of you, please come forward.
proceed to the formal function. I invite Venugopal sir, Ramanguti sir, Sri Jyoti miss to the dais. Sunita miss. Uh, can I have Ram Bhaskar? Welcome everyone. Who's singing? Welcome everyone. Uh, we will start with the official program for the day. Um, as always, we start with the lighting of the lamp. I uh, humbly request the dignitaries on the stage to please light the lamp. Sarvalokai 
And next, um, I request the Secretary of the Alumni Committee, Dr. Akshay V. Prabhu, to please uh, uh, give the uh, welcome address. Respected Chairman C.A. Venugopal Sir, Respected Director Ramanguti Sir, Our Ex-Principal and Pillar of Support Sunita Ma'am, Our Present Principal Sri Jyoti Ma'am, Various Office Bearers of the Alumni Association and all the teachers and alumni who have assembled here, a warm namaste to all of you. It is very humbling to be given this opportunity to welcome you all. But rather than welcoming you all, I feel it's more than welcoming you back to the same institution where you have left a part of your soul here. Because I don't think any of us present here can ever forget Bhavan Zirnagar because it has been an integral part of our life. So before going on to the, uh, my duty of welcoming the dignities on the dais, I would like to say a few things. First and foremost, uh, most of you know me, but those who don't, I'm Dr. Akshay V. Prabhu. I'm a gynecologist and a laparoscopic surgeon. I specifically said that because what I am today is just because of the school here and the teachers who are present here. I will tell you why. I joined this Bhavan's family in 1991 in Bhavan's Balamandir when that was a place for the kindergarten. From there on till 2005 when I completed my 12th standard, I have always been a Bhavanite. That doesn't end there. Even after that, I have always been a Bhavanite because I have always been part of the Bhavan's Alumni Association and the activities right from 2016. That's when I came back after my post-graduation. So just a few words, when I was in I think 8th standard or 9th standard, there was a similar um, program which was held where a lot of office bearers were selected and uh, some teachers were also selected to be part of the alumni association. But sadly, that never had a continuation. But uh, it's very, with very pride and happiness, I say that the alumni association which was formed in I think 2016, uh, has seen fruit because this is the third alumni association uh, reunion we are organizing and we have had a lot of activities and mentoring sessions which have been going on. There have been a lot of people in the alumni association. We have been very active in this. And one of the pilot project was the uh, constructing a house for people who are needy during the floods, which was wholeheartedly taken up by all the teachers and the students of uh, alumni association. And I think that deserves a round of applause. So as I said, we have already completed three alumni association gatherings and me being a Bhavanite does not end there because the next generation, that's my daughter, she has also started the same journey. She has finished two years of kindergarten in the Bhavan's Tankshut Palace and has joined first standard Bhavan's Girinagar this year and she's, hopefully she'll also continue the same legacy. Second thing I wanted to say is that once I finished Bhavan's 12th standard and then went on to join my college, that is Armed Forces Medical College in Pune, it's a very prestigious college as per the ranking, it is, is always first or second in the medical college ranking. So when I went there, actually people were shocked or presently surprised because the kind of exposure we have had here is something which is only available in most of the international boarding schools or the international schools which are present in North India. Equal exposure to academics, equal exposure to extracurricular activities, be it music, sports, I was pretty much present in everything. So when I went there, the people were pleasantly surprised or I would say shocked, like how can a person be exposed to so many things but to be very frank that's what the root or root value of Bhavan's culture is that it's not only about academics it's about overall grooming of a person who passes from here and to again validate that eight years prior to me joining Armed Forces Medical College there was another bright alumnus of this college who had joined Armed Forces Medical College and left his mark his name is Dr. Aravind Menon he was eight years senior to me and his name was already famous there. He had left a legacy there. He is considered as one of the best speaker and debaters AFMC has ever produced. 
So when we had our Diamond Jubilee gathering where there was an alumni versus students debate in Armed Forces Medical College, he was also specially invited for that and it was a pride moment for both of us and the mark of Bhavan's Girinagar has been left in Armed Forces Medical College. And it will stay for sure and that is a mark of a Bhavanite, one who has sincerely passed through 12 years of schooling and gone on has definitely left a mark everywhere. And finally, just to conclude, it has always been about giving back for me. So any occasion to give back to the school, give back to the college, give back to this uh, culture, I've always been ready and I've got plenty of uh, opportunities to do that. I've held multiple sessions here. Recently, uh, even teachers who have passed out from here and or transferred from here and gone to other schools are still associated. I've got two beautiful opportunities to speak at two sessions in Bhavan Sadarsh Vidyalaya where Jyoti ma'am, physics, my physics teacher here is a vice principal there. So she had organized two sessions, one for the teachers and the students there. It's always, it's an immense pleasure to keep associating with bhavans and to give back to the society due to which what I am today. So that is what I just wanted to tell in short and I thought this is the perfect occasion for that. So finally, moving on to the, uh, my real duty, what I'm supposed to do. I welcome respected chairman CA Venugopal sir who has always been a pillar of support back then and even now. I welcome you to this August gathering, sir. Next, I would like to welcome our respected director, Ramankuti, sir, who needs no introduction. He's also been a great support for this school and this organization. I welcome you, sir. Also taking this chance to officially welcome Sunita Miss, who has not only been the principal, who has been my physics teacher, my principal, and also a mentor at multiple levels. I've always been interacting with her in the school and off the school. It's always a pleasure to have her, and I welcome you to this gathering, ma'am. And last but not the least, the legacy should continue. There should be a continuity, and that's why our beloved principal, Sri Jyoti ma'am is also here and has been extending a great support to this organization to carry this legacy forward. Thank you ma'am and I welcome you to the gathering. And I welcome the other office bearers of this organization who have been working tirelessly for the past six to seven years, uh, fueling this organization and taking this forward. So I welcome you to all uh, to this gathering and also welcome to all the teachers who have been supporting us who have been blessing us and all the alumni who have gathered here for this reunion. And uh, let us all wish that this legacy continues. And I also sincerely hope that we have been manning the mantle for almost past six to seven years. I would request youngsters to come up and take this mantle and this has to carry forward. This must not end here. It should not end with one single person or one single organization. This is a legacy with no identity, name or person and this should continue year after year, year after year and year after year. That's my sincere request and I hope everybody will take this up. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. Namaste. Um, next, I request Sri Ashwin John to deliver the pledge. Pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I'm proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers, and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy. To my country and my people, I pledge my devotion in their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. Jai Hind. Uh, next, to deliver the presidential address, I call upon uh, Vipin Das, the president of the Students as Alumni Association. Respected chairman, respected director, respected principal, 
former principal, other dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, respected teachers, and all my dear friends who have taken their time to attend today's gathering. Well, uh, I just have two things to say. One is that this reunion would not have happened, but for the push supplied by Sunita Miss. She has been after every one of us pushing because we were in a state of inertia after the COVID. And she was pushing each and every one of the office bearers and uh, to uh, organize this event. And to complement that, we have Sri Jyoti Miss who was pulling us back to the school. And it's due to the effort of both these teachers that this reunion is happening today. And I profoundly thank both the teachers for taking this effort. Secondly, uh, as uh, Akshay stated, we formed this association in 2016 and we had the first reunion on January 2nd, 2016. Immediately a committee was formed and a bylaw was drafted. And uh, what happened, we were supposed to be in office only for two years, but wh what happened is that when we submitted the bylaws for registration, the registrar object is saying that you cannot have an association from January to December, it should be for financial year from April to March. So by the time we had already approved the, uh, our uh, bylaws and now we, uh, we wanted an amendment, but thereafter the floods came in and the corona took over for two years and therefore now we have to convene a general body urgently by, before, by February so that the new team of office bearers can be elected and um, in the same meeting the bylaw can be uh, amended to suit the, to change the year from April to March. And so we are, and, uh, this is an opportunity, as Akshay said, to serve the school, to give back something to the school. And uh, the, uh, as per the present constitution, we have a president, two vice presidents, one secretary, two joint secretaries, treasurer, and we have one representative from each passing out batch. And so it is, of course, it's a jumbo committee, but the, the most important task is that of the executive committee members representing each batch because they have to get in touch with their batchmates and get their contribution in whichever form to the alumni association. So each year the, the body increases. It's not a fixed body. Each, as each batch pass, passes out, we'll get each, uh, we'll be adding one more member to the committee. So this is the formation which we have made in the committee. But uh, the, the experience of the past six years shows that one person alone is not sufficient to represent one batch. We may have to have two or three because 100 people, 100 students are passing out from each batch now because we have four divisions. So all these have to be worked out and we'll be convening a general body meeting and uh, we would like to have it hybrid because we want people who are, this, uh, this function is also going live. All our alumni, alumni in all over the world are watching this function and so they would also like, would like to attend the general body and we, would, we are planning to convene a general body in late Febru uh, Jan or February so that the new committee can take charge from 1st April onwards and go in with the, uh, take on the activities. And uh, I thank the support of all the alumni and the teachers for all the activities which have taken place so far and of course the most prestigious uh, project being the Sneha Kodaram project of the flood relief project which was a very very great success and which has been uh, considered as a pilot project for the entire Bhavan family. And once again I conclude my speech by thanking all the teachers and all the students who have taken time, the pe people have come from all the way from US and uh, I am so grateful that you have taken all this effort to reach here and uh, I would also urge the youngsters to come over and take over from the mantle from us. Thank you. Thank you all. Next, uh, next, I request uh, C. A. Venugopal Govan, cha Chairman of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, to give his address. Namaste. Namaste to all of you. Distinguished President of the Grinagar Vidyalaya Alumni Association Advocate Vipin Das, Secretary, my former student's son Achai, he's very special to me. 
as much as his father was a brilliant chartered accountant now our distinguished director sri ramanguti our academic coordinator now an incoming academic uh, supervisor from 1st january onwards madam sushil uh, sunita principal <coughs> sri jyoti vice principal sindhu sri jyoti indu yeah all the very respected members of the teaching fraternity former principals former teachers present teachers all of you and dear dear members of the alumni we are so very happy extremely happy that the alumni association of uh, greenagar vidyalaya has uh, formed an association of this magnitude this dimension and you have been the last 5 years revived it and are working very sincerely to see that uh, the association is taken to a very high level of its activities we acknowledge all the good work that has been done by our alumni who are present here and who are listening to us from all over the globe we very much value them and they are very very close to our hearts we always uh, feel and uh, announce and pronounce and say that what's a bhavanite you are always a bhavanite wherever you are and the mark of a bhavanite is that he or she will carry with him or her all the values most importantly the ethos the values the rich cultural heritage of the country and all that for which humanity stands for once that is injected instilled and inculcated deep into the minds of uh, bhavanite they will everywhere whatever be your profession even whatever vocation or uh, occupation you are in there is no doubt about it success will always be yours no doubt about it. as bhagwan says in bhagavad gita <clears throat> na vasudeva bhakta nam ashubham vidyade kvaje one who is devoted to lord vasudeva nothing nothing wrong will happen to him ever in life and vasudeva the god is all you know personified by the values the cultural ethos that we practice and what we put in our day to day life that is god himself or herself is so therefore we have the fullest confidence that our alumni bhavanites all over the world have deep in them this sense of uh, you know moral ethical social cultural strong values embedded in them and he will continue from success to success nothing will ever deter you i wish all the members of uh, the alumni wherever they are outstanding success in their all their career in their life <clears throat> in all respects god be with them all the time all that i have got to tell you is that you know we are really sad that the greenagar association is not able to come up to the level of our expectations in terms of basically infrastructure we have had the finest of teachers i have no doubt about it and you know as you, as you could see i got some of my very close friends also among two alumni my own partner now rohini has uh, was also an alumna of this uh, vidyalaya and her uh, child is uh, now a student so that connection goes on and on no doubt about that this unfortunately this institution is limited in terms of the availability of land we have only 1.70 acres of land for this whole of these premises this is the shortest the smallest vidyalaya in terms of infrastructure amongst all the seven vidyalayas in all our places we have four acres five acres six acres seven acres nine acres 12 acres 13 acres but unfortunately we are not able to get even one cent of land additionally from kochin shipyard who owns this premises and we are working you see under the aegis of their overall management control even this morning i was interacting in another occasion with the chairman of the kochin shipyard mr madhu nair and requesting him again and again and again please give us at least 50 cents or more somewhere adjacent to that so that we could put up a magnificent and kgx and kg block as you know the cbsc regulations now warrant that the pre kg classes onwards the whole of kg section now has to be attached to as forming part of the cbi system earlier on the cbi system was from class 1 to 12 from under the new education policy from 24 25 academic year the kg classes are also attached to that which means obviously we should also own all the facilities as our own as part and parcel of this uh, vidyalaya complex and we are not able to add that so he said he will do try to do something about it i am hoping against hope that it will be possible once we get that 
and we pass the minimum mandatory required extent of two acres, nothing can stop us and they will continue to develop. Within the constraints that we have, we are trying to do the best possible. All the laboratories have been modernized, all the computer labs and all the auditorium and whatever facilities are, could be added are being added. A new uh, lift is being installed in a few months time, it will be there. Playground is being modernized. Shipyard has been good enough to allow us to make use of their playground facilities thanks to the effort of Sri the principal. The day she joined, she was interacting with them and he said, okay, during daytime, from 8.30 to 3.30, your students can use our playground also. So that is a good facility, but nonetheless, nothing like having our own independent, magnificent playground facility because we in the bhavans give equal importance to physical education and also to fine arts. Unlike old days where, you know, you have 2,000 students in a Vidyalaya, hardly 5%, 8%, 10% may be taken to physical education. As even today that is the case. You ask our physical education teachers, how many of the students are getting involved in physical education activities intensely? Not even 10%. Similarly in fine arts, we have an extent, excellent fine arts facility in most of our schools. But many children are not taking to that. Fine arts education or physical education is as much part of the educational system and every student, as he or she undergoes the academic education, shall go through the physical education also and improve their holistic personality, develop their mind, body and intellect in a harmonious manner and come up to the most outstanding competent citizens of the world. This is what we at the Bhavans are trying to do. Our management is very keen. Every month we meet to review. You see what our, uh, each of our education institutions are required. We have an interacting process with all our principals and uh, vice principals. We have a team of educationists who are helping us. Four, five, six of our former principals who have retired from us. Each of them who have 30, 40 years of educational experience and expertise and skills in them. We have formed them into a group and called them by different, different names. They call, one is a research center coordinator, one is an academic advisor or coordinator. We have got a chief program officer and Meena ma'am now and three, four educational officers. They constitute the treasure trove of the knowledge and wisdom that could be passed on, you see, to the other teachers to mold them, to shape them up and to groom them in the best possible educational methodology. So, however, that every Bhavan student gets the best possible education in the world and they shall also come up and rise in the horizon as none unparalleled you see, unparalleled outstanding shards in the horizons of the world in practically all areas be it engineering or medicine or architecture or accountancy law or whatever it is and it is in the hands of the alumni also to ensure by having continuous contact i'm so happy to know from president Vipin, Vipin Das, there are 2000 members already identified not even one shall be left behind. We, have, we will have a database of all of them. We will connect with each of them. I would sincerely appeal to everyone who is listening to me at this point of time, please get closely connected with your alumni whenever you are here. Whether there is an alumni function or not, get in touch with the principal. Get to know what you are doing. Share your success story with us. Many a time we have celebrated the success of our students at the international level, global level and all that. And we take pride on that, extreme pride on that. So we would like to feel, as Shai correctly said, once a Bhavanite, always a Bhavanite, he says, to the, the, the words are music to us, to our ears. Therefore, we want to connect with you, not just looking for, uh, you know, Bhavanites uh, or the alumni members for their help and their support alone, but that is invaluable. The alumni support is invaluable for any institution. You take Harvard, you take Cornell, you got Wharton, Princeton, Carnegie Mellon, Stanford, the best of the global universities, they all flourish because of the continuing support from the alumni group. Even in India, the entire IIM, IIT is a very, very profound, you know, very well-run alumni groups which continuously support them. Your support means a lot to us, not merely in terms of monetary support, but in terms of technology, in terms of your ideas, in terms of your sharing knowledge with the present-day students, and more importantly, more importantly, to in, in inspiring each and every student who is now sitting in the same benches with the same desk where you are sitting in the same classroom, to motivate them, to inspire them, and to instill or kindle the frame within them and to inspire them to reach the heights that you have reached. Which more than our telling or teachers telling, when you share with them, it will make a lot of uh, difference. So, we really welcome you very warmly. We are very proud of each and every one of you. We would like to continue to listen to your stories of success. God be with you all the time. 
with all happiness and pride i am the first chairman in charge of you see the grinagar vidyalaya when it was formed in 1971 this is our second vidyalaya we had the first in nadamakara within 2 years 3 years we started here this uh, in connection in collaboration with kuchin shipya when vasudev pillai was in charge of the alamakara school i was in charge of the greenagar school and we have interacted with all the principals and teachers most of them the old timers i know very personally closely and i still try to maintain their relationship with them they mean a lot to us and to the present lot of principals and teachers i want to communicate to them you are very very dear to us you principals vice principals assistant vice principals teachers are the pillars of our strength we value all that you are doing for our students we'll continue to be with you all your on all your efforts and we want you to join hands with us to ensure that each and every student of bhavan comes out most successfully in the years ahead god be with you all thank you very much with great pride i inaugurate your association Next, I request the director of Bharati Vidya Bhavan, Ramkuti sir, to please address the board. Namaste and good afternoon to all of you, honorable chairman, C. A. Venugopal Sri Govind, distinguished president of the Alumni Association, advocate Vipin Das. Dr. Akshay, Secretary of the Association, Madam Principal, Madam Sunita, yes, former principal of the school, and uh, academic coordinator, academic supervisor from tomorrow, Gopika, Ashwin, my colleagues, past and present, all the distinguished. alumni of bhavan sagitnagar vidyalaya namaste to all of you i am so very happy to be part of this wonderful inaugural function of the alumni association bhavan sagitnagar girinagar this is a unique meeting because i have not seen i have been attending several uh, alumni meets and uh, a pledge during the formal meeting i think this is the first time it reminds you of your school assembly it reminds you of your commitment to the nation as a whole to society in particular where you live where the school is situated and a commitment to your teachers and your peers it's a great thing the great reminder i should also convey my profound uh, appreciation to rathika i think who rendered the hymns then during the proceedings that uh, during the lighting of the lamp as a prayer beautiful wonderful very soulful <laughs> now uh, when i say alumni association i have been attending several such functions of our schools and outside coaching our own schools they are all doing extremely well now the the world is getting increasingly interconnected i was talking to vipin you should always go for a hybrid mode ensuring more participation of the ex students they are all not in a position to come to the school physically but they can definitely participate i think there was one such program in elamakara school it was in hybrid mode and many ek uh, alumni you know appeared on the stage appeared on the screen with their family and conveyed their observations and they spoke to interacted with the others who were sitting in the hall actually before i told him he said he is planning that wonderful as on record you have got 2007 or so members i think we have already 20 batches passed out from here if you take average 100 it should be definitely 2000 if you can't bring all the 2000 it is difficult also due to say various other logistical constraints you should be able to bring a sizable number this is i think equal 50 50 teachers 50 50 <laughs> students 
anyway you have been able to make a good start today and you should be able to consolidate your association by registering by framing the bylaw by making a good election you need not be always available in the city to be a member of the because we can transact business online today therefore i think you need not insist on their being in kochi some way or the other that will be definitely ideal but i think we should have and you should set a goal a schedule you should draw up that is what you can do for the school what you can do for the society as a whole these are the two main objectives of any association most particularly the alumni association of bhavans schools because we always advocate social well being in fact we have got a mahila vibhag and a social arm of the bhavans which is doing exclusively social work because we should have a consideration a concern for the other the deprived section of the society who are less privileged than you therefore i think we should have it gives meaning to your our existence when you can extend a part of your you know energy time and uh, uh, resources for the well being of the other people who are less fortunate than any of us that is definitely a cause and the pledge also says that we are concerned about the well being of the nation what is nation after all it's not the map the people the people in the country the nation that makes a nation like a school school is not the building the school the students and the teachers others in the school that makes a school therefore when you pledge when you when we have taken the pledge today and you have been taking the pledge every day during school days that should, that is very much instilled in your mind your commitment to the nation and the society and therefore i think that should be your one of the goals in your agenda as an association and definitely you should see that uh, the school is not the same as chairman has already given you elaborately the improvements you have brought about in all our schools more particularly here in spite of the space constraint we have been able to bring in so many changes here with the time the changing time and you can also be a partner a shareholder in the upgrading of your school and i am there and i should also share with you one small information it is definitely not about coaching schools i am going to attend another program similar program on 27th and 28th in baroda where i started my career in bhavan after 50 years they are assembling in the school they are send about 30 40 batches there may be about 100 students so they have planned 6 months ahead so that they can rope in as many number as possible physically others will be hybrid online mode so that is going to be a big affair so this is happening in every bhavan school maybe every school more particularly in every bhavan school the alumni is very very strong they are the ambassadors of the institution you carry the message of the institution across wherever you go as dr akshay very expl- very clearly said in his prelude he explained you know what he has gained from here in this during his 12 years study here and he has put his child here now all those memories become lasting memories when you stick to it i don't want to extend my address i am so happy i am invited here i am thankful to the president and other members of the association also the principal shijodi ma'am for uh, having me here today and uh, talking to all of you i wish this association all success i assure you my support at all times thank you thank you so much sir next uh, i request uh, sunita ms or the former principal to please address the gathering namaste most respected chairman of bharatiya vidyabhavan kochi kendra c a venugopal c govin esteemed director shri ramanguti and principal of the school shrimati sri jyoti 
and President Vipin and Assistant Vice Principal Srimati Indu, Achi, Gopika and my colleagues and my dear alumni. A warm good morning to each one of you. I know that you are not very much keen on listening to a big speech and I know that I am not a good speaker too. So I will say something and go away since I have been given this duty. My heart is filled with joy, pride and nostalgia as I stand here today. As you all know, we have gathered here today to revive our beloved alumni group. Though the challenges of the past few years, particularly the impact of the pandemic, may have dampened our spirits. It is never too late to reignite the flame of enthusiasm that once burned brightly within us. As the principal who had the privilege of constituting this alumni group back in 2016, I witnessed the power of our collective bond and the incredible potential we possess to make a difference. Each one of us walked the halls of our esteemed institution, leaving behind a trail of accomplishments and memories that continue to shape our lives. Dear alumni, the school will be celebrating its golden jubilee three years from now. I wish that a maximum number of students from each batch should be present to witness the celebrations. The new batch coordinators or the alumni present here now should reach out to their batchmates and invite them to join the group. Together we can reignite and revitalize the enthusiasm that once fueled this alumni group. I wish all success to this vibrant community and I thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Miss. Uh, next, I welcome the principal, Sri Jyoti, uh, to please address the Namaste and a very warm good afternoon to all the dignitaries on the stage, off the stage, and the alumni, the few of them who are seated in front of us, and uh, some of them who are wandering along the corridors, I think with a tinge of nostalgia, and hi. Yeah, I hope you're listening. And I'm not going to give a long speech. I feel very happy that on the Founders' Day, that is December 30th, the Founders' Day of Bharti Vidya Bhavan, we have gathered here in what the chairman has already told you, the smallest of the premises amongst Bhavan schools, but not small in any other aspect because the achievements that you students and you teachers who have been here at some point in your life, that speaks volumes about the greatness of this school. <coughs> and I was just struck by the realization that the maximum number of principals have come out from this school. The principals adorning, who have adorned the post of principals in many other schools, amongst Bhavan schools. And I can also see Pradibha was here. Yeah, she's walking out as I'm speaking. She also is a principal of uh, Chinmaya Vadudala. And we have the likes of her in many other schools. So this is no small school. This is one of the biggest schools, if not in terms of size, in terms of stature. Yes, it is one of the best schools in India. And I say that without taking any credit because this year, this school has been awarded the Kulapati Munshi Award for the best school amongst all Bhavan schools in India for the activities of the academic year 
2021-2022. And yes, the turnout has not been as we would have wanted it to be. But anyway, after a hiatus of six years, I think the registration uh, papers show the turnout of students. Some of them, the students, my volunteers tell me that some have uh, eluded the registration part, very few of them. And if we t go by the numbers on the registration papers, it shows about 75, not even 100. So I think this can be excused because we are meeting after a hiatus of six years and I'm sure when we meet next year, it will cross 100 and hopefully it will reach 200. That's my humble hope. And it's so nice to meet all the teachers, though I have not had a chance to interact closely with all of them. I know all of them by face, I know all of them by name. And thanks to all the students and also the non-teaching staff, I can recognize many of them who have come here today and each one's presence has enriched the stature of this uh, meeting. Thank you all who are uh, the alumni who are in the different classrooms at this point in time. I'm sure you are reliving your school days and thank you for all those students who are here, who are patiently waiting, who have patiently waited and I'm sure hunger pangs are troubling you and it, before long all of you can come to the canteen where a sumptuous lunch is awaiting you. Thank you, dear ones. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. Um, now, before we go ahead, um, we had a lot of happy memories at Bhavans, but at the same time, we have, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to remember those we have lost, both teachers as well as fellow students. I request everyone to take a moment of silence to remember those of us. Thank you. Uh, no alumni reunion is complete without paying our due respects to our teachers. To award the mementos for the teachers, I request the students to come and start handing over their mementos. So we have a small token of uh, affection to all the teachers. Uh, I request the teachers to come one by one. And uh, the students, this is your opportunity to show your gratitude. We have a small memento for the teachers. I request you to come one by one. After the teacher's day, perhaps this is the first time that we, you are getting this opportunity to uh, felicitate teachers and take their blessings once again. So I request all the alumni members to come forward.
next uh, to deliver the vote of thanks i call upon gopika gopakumar the vice president president of the alumni association If I can request everybody to be seated, we will just finish the proceedings and then proceed for lunch. Those who are in the basketball court, everybody, please come to the uh, main uh, stage in front of the main stage. We'll have also have a group photo before you all leave. So did everybody enjoy this small get together I want to ask first Yes no We I can't hear you Okay So let me proceed to the vote of thanks with this special story you know everybody likes to listen to a story pandu school kalathe oru story nammal kathagalu kettittundavalle so i would like to start with a story all of us are aware of this great emperor called alexander the great so it is said that alexander the great came to india and the people here offered a plate of bread made of gold So Alexander the Great was surprised shocked why are you giving me bread made of gold i am hungry i need bread wheat bread so the people asked but you are the emperor how can we offer you bread made of wheat you have to be offered bread made of gold but he said no for my hunger i need just simple bread then the people asked so why are you here don't you get bread in your own country in your own uh, place why are you conquering the whole world just to eat bread that's when alexander the great realized the the simple truth of life he said he realized that we may have conquered the whole world but when we leave we only have happiness and joy to live in so he said when i die ensure that my hands are open and that an emperor who conquered the world will leave the world with nothing this is not to say that we don't have to conquer but we also have to realize that we will go from this world with nothing and that only thing we take away is love and knowledge right and that is why we have events like this to invoke that feeling of gratitude love and happiness you know we all have very good memories of school maybe some unpleasant memories here and there but that should not stop you from coming to school and feeling grateful for whatever we have achieved in our life you know and we want you to come back to school and contribute and that is why we would like to have these uh, alumni get togethers year after year to share this love because this is all that we have when we leave so let me firstly thank both raman kutti sir and uh, venu gopal sir for coming for this meeting and support supporting us it is a big big support to have both of you here in this occasion our guiding light sunita miss who has been with us as a strong pillar of support from the day the association was formed shreet jyoti miss for taking this initiative forward for spontaneously telling us to organize this program and being with us and ensuring that everything is arranged uh, in just a few days time so next time we'll make sure we are we will give prior notice uh, well ahead of time all the teachers who are here you know your blessings it is only because of your blessings that we are what we are today there is no doubt and even now they continue to support us in every way possible and we hope that your blessings will continue and your blessings will be with there with us 
forever. So thank you teachers and non-teaching staff. I only see Chandran Jaitan here. But they have also played a, a huge role in our life for what we are today. The alumni committee members uh, who have been with us, who have been part of this organizing, uh, right from day one, from 2016 onwards, we definitely want new members to come in, new ideas to come in. This is your way to contribute to the school, to the society, to your hometown. So we would encourage, urge all of you to come forward and give your names. Volunteers who have also been associated with the organizing the, t uh, the, uh, the program. The 11th standard students, some of the 11th standard students are also here. They are manning the registration counter. Huge round of applause to them. You know, it's their holiday, but they have still come because the principal has asked them to come and they are helping with a big, big uh, support there. All the alumni members who have come here, thank you so much it is such a pleasure to see all of you here and i'm sure you can see those tears of joy and love in the eyes of these teachers when they meet you and likewise i'm sure it is in your case as well so you know to conclude uh, i'd like to remember the bhavan's motto let noble thoughts come to us from every side so it, this is not a simple motto. I think in childhood, we used to just randomly utter this. But may we be the recipient of divine thoughts in our lives and may we spread happiness, love and wisdom wherever we go. And that is the true spirit of a Bhavanai. Thank you very much. We all belong to each other and we would love to see all of you again next year. Thank you very much. We will now proceed for, uh, we will have a group photo and then proceed for lunch. Uh, can we all stand up for national anthem? Request all of you to come forward. <laughs> 